and we know that quadratic expression is ax squared plus bx plus c this is a quadratic if is greater than zero it is u shaped and if it is a is less than zero it is n shaped so these two things are very important to know uh, while sketching the graphs okay and other thing uh, whenever uh, we have u shaped we we have a minimum turning point minimum okay uh, here is a turning point it is minimum always okay this point and here it is maximum in this case so it means my graph will be n shaped in this case because of this maximum turning point okay number one it is quadratic and number two it is uh, maximum and maximum at 220 and number three it is uh, passing through the origin now we can uh, sketch the graph easily first of all you need to draw x axis and y axis let's say this is x x and uh, this is y axis and this one is x axis okay now uh, first of all you need to uh, uh, write here the maximum point maximum point is somewhere here it is 20 uh, and 2 will be somewhere here it is 2 okay so you will draw n shaped graph here this is the maximum point here so goes like this like that okay somehow uh, you can draw better than for sorry for that my drawing is not too good it will be accepted by the way so it is true so it is passing through the origin and you know that it is the maximum point 220 and it looks like this that's it so it is of uh, three marks and you can mention over there because it is passing from the origin you can mention here zero and zero if you want you should mention here what he wants from you showing the coordinates of the any point where c1 cuts the coordinate axis it is cutting at one, this point and that point so you need to find x intercept x intercept one intercept is already given you could find the other intercept midpoint is two here it is two units away from here we know that this is the midpoint between this and that okay Th these two points point of intersections so if this point is two units away from here zero is two units away the next point is also two units away from here so it will be uh, four for sure okay four zero that's it so first part is done in part b find an expression for f of x because it is a quadratic equation so there is a way of writing quadratic equation that is called quadratic equation in vertex form okay you can use you can express this f of x in terms of vertex form quadratic equation in the vertex form k into x minus h whole square plus k you know that this h and k is the vertex vertex is h and k and we know already know the vertex that is 2 and uh, 2 and 20 it is given in the question the turning point is the vertex actually we found the value of h and k from here h is 2 and k is 20. it is passing through the origin implies that value of x will be 0 and value of y will be 0 also this graph is passing through the origin so you can apply this point uh, in this equation okay to find the value of a therefore plug in all these values in the expression y is 0 a keep as is x is 0 and uh, h is 2 whole square and k is 20 bring this 20 to the other side so it will be negative 20 equals to 4a and value of a will be negative 5 so we got the value of a plugging all these values in the equation my required expression will be equals to y equals to a is negative 5 and x minus h is 2 and k is 20 this is the required equation for second part i hope you understand this method there is another way uh, if you do not understand you can ask me in the question uh, about this part in the comment box the curve c2 has equation y equals to x into x square minus 4 the curve c1 and c2 meet at the origin and at point p and q given that x coordinate of the point p is negative using the algebra and showing all the stages of your work find the coordinates of p you need to find coordinates of p here we already found the equation for c1 and equation of c2 is mm, y equals to x into x square minus 4 okay just remember it in c we know that the equation of the curve c1 this is the equation of the curve c1 that is negative 5 into x minus 2 whole square plus 20 
this is the equation of the curve c1 and what is the equation of curve c2 that is that is equals to x into x square minus 4 okay this is the equation of curve c2 if you equate these two points wise okay equating both equations will give you the point of intersection p and q but we need to find the uh, coordinates of p only so that's it you have to answer accordingly equating both equations you can equate both equations together because both are y's so you can write here negative 5 into x minus 2 whole square plus 20 is equals to x into x square minus 4 so after equating this simplify now uh, you can you could expand the square x square plus uh, sorry it will be minus 4x the product and plus 4 plus 20 and expand this bracket it will be x cube and x multiply minus 4 will be minus 4x multiply negative 5 inside the parentheses negative 5 x square plus 20 x minus 20 plus 20 equals to x cube minus 4x so this 20 uh, could be cancelled out you have to bring everything on one side of equation better you take these two values to the other side of the equation okay so it will be x cube keep as is minus 4x and you are taking this value to the other side so it will be uh, plus 5x square and minus 20x equals to 0 x is common in the above equation uh, if you notice that x is everywhere so you will take it out x into x square plus 5x uh, minus 24 equals to 0 we can factorize this one further into two more pairs uh, so we know that 24 next to 24 and uh, we should have 5 so it will be uh, plus 8 and negative 3 because plus 8 and negative 3 gives you 5 and 8 multiply negative 3 and negative 24 equals to 0 now we have x equals to 0 x equals to negative 8 and x equals to uh, 3 but uh, as per uh, according to the question coordinates of x is uh, uh, negative for p okay x coordinate of p is negative therefore we will choose this one now the next thing uh, you have to find the value of y you can pick any uh, one of the equation above uh, for y so i am picking this equation okay y equals to x into x square minus 4 so easily you can get the value of y from here therefore y will be equals to x into x square minus 4 and uh, plug in this value of x here negative 8 and negative 8 square will be 64 and minus 4 okay so it is 60 60 multiplied it is 480 negative 480 is the y coordinate of p Therefore, p uh, the coordinates of p will be negative 8 and negative 480. So, this is the required answer for question number 9.